You know him from crying on reality TV. Give it up for Eli Matthewson! Oh, my goodness. Hello, big news. Me and my boyfriend bought a house. Thank you. I never thought it was possible, and neither did most of the banks. But uh, <laughs> we've tricked one. And wh what's weird about it is I do still call him my boyfriend, which feels too casual, you know? It feels like I should be using maybe a more official term, like, uh, like landlord, uh, probably. Yeah. <laughs> and don't you worry, that's a lot of our role play. We're doing mainly sort of landlord-tenant stuff, you know? <laughs> he gets home from work, I'm like, brr, I'm cold. <laughs> He's like, I'll not be putting in a heat pump. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Pins me against the wall. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, checking for blue tech. <laughs> <laughs> I say, you actually have to give me 24 hours notice before an inspection, sir. <laughs> it's good fun, you know? Some people are into bondage, not me. I'm into getting my bond back. <laughs> and because <laughs> we're done the house thing, I feel like all my friends are waiting for us to take the next step. I'd say twice a week, one of my friends will say to me, Eli, have you thought about having kids? I reckon you'd be a great dad. And look, I don't trust people when they say this, specifically straight people. Because I think when a straight person says that to a gay person, what they're actually saying is, I'd allow it. <laughs> <laughs> and I wouldn't be a good dad. I've had practice. My sister's got kids, right? She's got three kids, two boys, one girl. Little breakfast radio trio there. And... Uh, <laughs> They're stunning, I love hanging out with them. I'm their gay uncle. Some people would use the term gunkle, not me. <laughs> it's not how I self-identify. I prefer the term funkle. <laughs> yeah, thank you. The F stands for faggot. Um, <laughs> that's what I get them to call me. I, I did the weirdest thing about the kids' conversation these days is I'm of the age now where if I had kids, be totally normal. I'm 35, right? This is the first year I've used skincare with the term anti-aging on the packaging. <laughs> Put that on my face, gave me acne, actually. Uh, I was like, that's good stuff. Because uh, <laughs> I love skincare, I get a lot of targeted ads, and I got one recently on Instagram. It was for moisturizer for men. Finally, the lads have been too dry for too long. <laughs> it's a guy, he's rubbing moisturizer into his arm, and then the text says, it's not lotion. It's brotion. <laughs> yeah. And I've looked into it. It's lotion. Uh, <laughs> same product, but I guess straight men are so scared about being pussies, they need the word bro in the title. Like, are they walking in on each other in the bathroom and being like, dude, what are you doing? He's like, don't worry, man. It's not lotion. It's brotion. <laughs> Puts it on him, they make out. <laughs> I, I do miss being a kid, right? I keep thinking about the first ever CD that I bought with my own money. I loved it so much. It was uh, by a band called The Vinger Boys. It was called The Party Album. Yeah, yeah some fans are. If you don't know this one, it has all The Vinger Boys' greatest hits. It's got The Vinger Bus Is Coming. It's got We're Going To Ibiza. It's got Boom Boom Boom. It's got nine other songs I couldn't name with a gun to my skull. But... <laughs> I was a good Christian boy at this age, I was nine years old, so when I bought it, I did, I took out the little booklet because I wanted to check and see whether the artist thanked God. <laughs> Used to be very into God, now it's more Dua Lipa. But uh, <laughs> when I did that, when I opened the booklet that came with the Venga Boys CD, guess what? No thank yous, no song lyrics. What it had in there was different photos of animals having sex, right? One page, two lions, one page, two frogs. And I knew God was watching and I shouldn't be looking at this. So what I did was I went into my school bag and I took out my glue stick and I glued every single page shut so I wouldn't be tempted to look. <laughs> it's such a nice thought, but I will say, thinking about it now, I am like, if my mum had found that. <laughs> <laughs> Now that's what I call brotion. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.